Hiya folks and welcome back to Andy Back Farms and today it's another little giant editor tutorial for you because um, if you're ever getting into map making and whatnot in Farming Simulator then one thing you're probably going to be doing quite a lot of is planting trees and I wanted to show you two different methods of how to do that and the first method is kind of the, the slow method that a lot of people start off by doing but then I'm going to show you a method that will blow your mind <laughs> with how quick it is to plant trees in Farming Simulator if you don't already know about it. You can, by the way, um, use scripts and things to plant trees, which that can work quite well, but if you're working in little areas like this, we, you can end up spending more time like deleting trees and actually planting them, and uh, I prefer to kind of manually place them if you're working in little areas like this. Obviously, if you're working on great big areas of forest, then your best to script your, your tree planting. But I'm going to show you the uh, two manual methods of doing it. Obviously, before you start, try and organise things into transform groups. And what I've got is I've got a top-level group called trees, and then within that I've got multiple subgroups of, like, tree group 1, group 2, group 3, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't particularly matter what those groups are. I don't know if there's a limit to how many trees you can have in each group. I haven't run into any limit but it just makes life a bit easier because then if for whatever reason you want to just temporarily hide all your trees or whatever you can you can do that quite easily just by hiding the the transform group i'm working in this uh, tree group seven at the minute and that means that any tree that i kind of copy and paste will end up in that group i'll show you the slow way of doing it first so all i've done i've clicked on one of the trees in that transform group I'm going to press Ctrl and D once on the keyboard, and that's duplicated that tree. So now there are two trees in that place. Let me just, I'll do it over here so you can see a bit more clearly, because where there's loads of trees together, it's it's hard to see. So I'm going to click on that tree. That will let me. I'm going to do Ctrl D to duplicate it. So now there's two trees there, you see? But, and what you could do, you could, like, really, really slow method, but this would literally take you forever, is is you can then just move stuff on the X and Y axis like that. But the trouble is then you run into problems where your tree might end up not being on the ground and various problems like that. So instead, with the tree selected, press Control and B once, and now, wherever you click on the map, that object will be placed wherever you click. So if I click here, the object will be placed there. If I do control, but you have to do control B each time. So if I do control B again, then your next click of the mouse will put that object wherever you click. And then what you could do is you can do another control D and then a control B and then do another one over here. The trouble is, is that if you don't rotate the tree a little bit every time you do it then it all starts to look a little bit kind of um, well not very realistic so you end up having to do this kind of over and over again where you place a tree rotate it a bit and you can quickly see you know if you've got a big area of forest to do that's gonna take forever so the proper way to do this if you've got a lot of trees to plant and you don't want to use a script and this blew my mind when I first found out about it Press Control B on the keyboard, and then click anywhere on your map, but hold down the left mouse button and don't let go. So left mouse button is still held down, and you'll see it and drag your tree around anywhere. The main thing here is, is don't let go of your left mouse button. And now, press the Control key on your keyboard once, while holding down the left mouse button. And every time you press Control, it plants a tree. And not only that, but it randomly rotates the tree every time it plants one. So it just ends up looking a little bit more realistic because every tree has a little bit of random rotation to it. And though, I mean, you can plant trees very, very quickly using this method. It's worth, because when you're doing this very quickly, you can accidentally plant some in midair, but I think we're, we're all okay there. And then if we get a different tree, let's say we want to uh, mingle in some 
oak trees or something with this. Let's see if we've got any oak trees somewhere that I can copy. Copy that. So I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it. So that is now duplicated. There's two trees there. Don't deselect it or anything. I'm going to head back over here. We'll do some oak trees in this little patch over here. Just zoom out a little bit. So now Control B once. Click and hold down the left mouse button. Don't let go. And now Control, 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 Control. Every time you press Control, it'll plant a tree and randomly rotate it just a little bit. And it's a really, really fast way of planting lots of trees. So there you go folks, any questions pop them in the comments below. If you've got any experience of map making on Giants Editor then do let us know in the comments as well because it doesn't seem to be that many people doing this sort of thing and I think it's uh, quite interesting, quite good fun doing it. Do hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this about Giants Editor let us know as well because it's quite interesting doing this sort of stuff. In the meantime take care folks and I shall see you next time. Tatty bye!